Hi, me again. And the BBC have been sending out surveys to thousands of you all around the country. Now, is this a trap to find out who's watching stuff they shouldn't be without a licence? Or is this a genuine attempt from the BBC to get some useful information to decide what to do with the TV licence going forward? Let's find out. Now, one of you guys out there was kind enough to actually send me the link to this, because I never received it myself for some reason. Maybe the BBC don't like me. Can't think why. But if you get anything interesting, like a TV license letter or any interesting emails from them, do forward them to me. I'll put my contact details below so that I can take a look and share it with everybody else. Right, let's take a look at this survey. Now, a few people that I've checked with have said that when they clicked the link, they weren't asked to sign in or anything. They were just asked to answer the question. So the BBC obviously knew who they were. When I click the link, it asks me to sign in with a BBC account, which obviously I don't have, so we're going to have to make one. But did you have to sign in if you've done one of these, or did it just go through? Let me know in the comments below, because I would be interested. I'd be interested to know that. But because I don't have a BBC account, I'm going to have to go over to my old friends here at the temporary email addresses, because um, you know I'm not going to register for a BBC account with my own email address because I don't need one. Right. So now we're all set up. We can hit the register button. So I just make up some kind of password for this. And obviously they need a postcode so they know where I am. Right, any old postcode will do. That's not my postcode, so don't come visiting. I don't live there. Gender, should I put in there as my gender? Let's have a look, yeah. Right, finally we are in to the BBC survey. So let's take a look. We're only interested in understanding your views on the BBC and some of the other services you use. Don't use any of them. Here is a short survey that should take no longer than five minutes to complete and your answers will be completely confidential. Mine will, mate, because I haven't given you any of my details. We will be looking at the results of the survey alongside looking at how you and others use the BBC services when you are signed into your account. Don't have an account. For example, we may look at whether people who use the BBC a lot have a different view to those who don't use it very often. Yeah, I would imagine the people who use the BBC a lot have very different views to what I have about the BBC. This is to help us better understand how people feel about the BBC. The survey results and how you use the BBC will remain totally anonymous. My results obviously won't remain totally anonymous BBC because it's on bloody YouTube. Right. How often do you use the following BBC services? BBC TV, never. BBC iPlayer, never. BBC Radio, never. BBC Sounds, don't even know what it is. BBC Sport, never. BBC News, definitely bloody never. What do you think about each of the following media brands? Please give your general impression of each on a scale of one to 10, where one is extremely unfavorable and 10 is extremely favorable. If you have no option or haven't heard of it, please select zero. Okay. BBC. Uh, I wonder where we'll go with this. Yeah, extremely unfavourable. ITV. I don't mind ITV, really. Uh, a solid five, yeah. Channel 4 is a solid five, definitely. Sky, I quite like Sky. You can have a six. Netflix, obviously, one of my favourites. Mm, eight or nine. Nine. YouTube, obviously. Can't say anything bad about YouTube. I want the views. Spotify, don't use it. Could you tell us a bit more about this? What was the reason behind your score you gave for the BBC? This is optional. It'd be as optional as you want, but this is what I put. Why are you forcing me to pay for it? If I don't use Netflix, they don't start sending me awful letters demanding I pay or someone will visit my house to demand money with menaces. I think that got my point across quite nicely. Right. How much do you agree or disagree with the following statements about the BBC? Please say how much you agree or disagree with each statement on a scale of 1 to 10, same scale as before. Right, scale of 1 to 10, strongly disagree is 1. BBC is fair and balanced. I think we know where I was going with that. The BBC makes programmes and services that are new and original. Yeah, they have in the past, I guess. The BBC caters well for my region. Don't know because I don't watch it. I trust the BBC, <laughs> strongly disagree. How much do you agree or disagree that the following media organisations are for people like me? Please say what you think of each of them, where one is not at all for people like me and ten is very much for people like me. Pornhub's not listed, I see. That's very much for people like me. All right, BBC, definitely not for people like me. ITV, yeah, I don't mind some ITV stuff. 
Channel 4 stuff I quite like. Channel 5 stuff I do like their documentaries. Sky I'm quite the fan. You get a 6. Netflix obviously an 8. Not going to say anything bad about YouTube. If the YouTube algorithm is listening, I love you YouTube. Spotify don't know, don't use it. Could you please tell us a bit more about this? What was the reason behind your score for the BBC? This is optional. Your political output is a total one-sided joke. BBC One is repeats all day or some awful antique show. Homes Under the Hammer is excellent though. I won't have a bad word said about Homes Under the Hammer. I love it. Although is that made by an external production company anyway? I'll check on that. I haven't checked on that yet. And just for a laugh in case they've heard of me. Also, I am Chili John Carney from YouTube. Not exactly claiming I'm famous, but you never know, they may have heard of me. Right, what's next? What do you think of the following BBC services? Please give us general impressions of each on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is extremely unfavourable and 10 is extremely favourable. Right, so 1 is bad. BBC TV, I think we know where we're going with that. BBC iPlayer, don't know, don't use it. BBC Radio, eh, sometime, it used to be all right, didn't it? Don't use BBC Sounds. Can't stand BBC Sports since they got rid of Formula One. BBC News is awful. Looking back over the past year or so, would you say that from your point of view, I think we know the BBC is getting worse. And could you tell us a bit more about this? Could you please tell us the reason behind your answer? Optional again. I think I'll let them know how I really feel. This is what I put. Well, over the last year, you stopped free licenses for OAPs. The people have supported you for the life of the BBC, and now you reward them by doing that. Your main channels are full of repeats, just constant. Your news output, where once was the envy of other channels, has now fallen behind in trust and quality. They wanted honest feedback. I'm going to provide them honest feedback. Right, let's crack on. The TV licence fee pays for all BBC services across TV, iPlayer, radio and online. It costs 157 quid a year or £13.13 .13 a month and needs to be paid by every household that watches broadcast TV or uses iPlayer. Thinking about any BBC programmes you and your household watch on TV or iPlayer, any BBC radio stations listen to as well as any BBC websites or apps used, please tell us. There's a mouthful, isn't it? To what extent do you think the BBC is good or bad value for money? What do you think I'm going to put for this answer? Extremely poor value for money. I didn't surprise you, did I? Anyway, right, let's send that. See what they got to say. There we go, it's sent. We really appreciate your help to understand what you think and feel about the BBC. And then, yeah, I've been given a reference number and an email address. If I want to change my mind about any of the questions, I can just email them my reference number and update that. So what did you think about this survey? Did you receive it? Did you fill it in? Or did you see it as some kind of trap? Personally, I think it is a genuine attempt to get some real information from real people about how they do feel about the license fee now. So if you do get this survey, choose to fill it in or not, it's up to you. I did. And, uh, you know, people I know I've encouraged to fill in and give their honest feedback about how they feel about BBC services and the TV licence. If they get real honest feedback, it might give them the kick up the arse they need to make some change. I don't know. But if you've received anything interesting in the post from TV licensing or any interesting emails, as I said earlier, do send them across. My contact details are down below. You can click that and send me over all your great stuff. I'll take a look and then I'll share it with everybody else. So I think that'll do it for now. I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.